Today I discovered Soft Brush Set to Dissolve and honestly, I can't believe I lived my life without knowing this before. My life has been changed forever. Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and welcome back to another speed paint video. So today um, I was working on my exclusive Patreon print for the month of February and I was not really inspired to do anything and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was kind of inspired by like a cat maybe, and then maybe a wolf, and then maybe like a girl with with wolf, and then a girl with wolves. So here's just like my thought process trying to figure out what I want to do. Maybe it was, I think at this point I was thinking about a fox, and then later um, I kind of changed to a wolf until eventually its final form of a tiger. And um, so what I'm trying to figure out here is this face angle. I wanted a very soft kind of design with this girl, more realistic body proportions and very like soft. So I wanted her face to, to kind of represent that. And I end up changing her face later because the vibe isn't there. And I also end up changing the, the wolves because um, like she's so soft and yes I, I have this contrast of these like sharper type of animals but it, it just didn't it didn't work i really wanted a soft animal to kind of mimic her softness and more maybe tropical animals as well because um yes the the wolves are not tropical <laughs> but the colors are pretty tropical and, and i and i started off with colors um i don't usually kind of plan my colors in advance but for this i i thought that that was like an important part of the composition. Um, I really wanted a black background and I tried to just work around that. Um, although, so this this is, I was, I was flipping between CMYK and RGB a lot um, because eventually this would be a printed image, right? And then I had the blue of this, of the character and I was flipping between it and there was a little bit of a difference, but not too much. But then later on when, <laughs> when I do, um, um, color her with like shading and stuff like that. The difference is um, a little bit more so I end up kind of playing with her hue and saturation to to add a more vibrant color without having that deep uh, indigo color. Indigo is just not very printer friendly I'd say. So at this point I'm looking up some tiger drawings because like I said the sharpness of the wolves just didn't um, sit well with me so I opted to change it to tigers, especially like with the climate of the background, uh, more tropical, I felt like that would look nicer. Also, I thought um, tigers would look much cuter. The The wolves were very like sharp and you know, wolves have the, um, you know, the, the tendency to be like villainous in stories and stuff like that and just like a darker character. So I, um, yeah, so I wanted to make tigers instead and um, I don't really draw animals very often, so, you know, a lot of um, back and forth, a lot of practice, experimenting, gotta make the head bigger, gotta make the paws bigger, and the tail shorter, and that's kind of how I made them cuter and smaller, and like fluffier ears and stuff like that. So, um, now I'm just trying to figure out the colors with the new um, animals, and I want her to stand out from the animals, so I tried to do the animals um, much warmer and then she the main character and like the background was like this cooler so like they would contrast each other nicely so at this point you won't believe it I discovered um, taking your your just your round brush just your soft round soft brush and then putting the mode to dissolve and it is it's such a cool texture and I can't believe I never <laughs> I never discovered that earlier <laughs> Um, usually when I try to do like um, a kind of grainy look, I have a specific brush for it, but it's not like that grainy. So um, it, this was cool. I I've been looking a lot at Sophie Lee's new life drawing art books. Um, you can find her on Instagram. So like I was looking through her art book and I was really inspired by her brush strokes and she uses a lot of like a softer brush with like a softer grainy brush with a lot of like um like for example like the hairline art that i did she uses um like really um textured line art and i really i really like that and i wanted to kind of see how i could incorporate 
a similar type of of um, technique to my pieces because I don't know if um, I don't know if you've heard but I'm not vibing with my art lately um, it's hard to um, get into it and be excited about it I feel like a lot of my artwork is just to please other people so I really want to kind of experiment and kind of find um, a way that I really like doing my artwork you know what I mean um, I feel like social media has um, and I feel like a lot of people probably feel this way. Social media has very much, like, um, taken over how I like to draw. Because <laughs> in order to, you know, when I started my social media, I was doing things that other people liked in order to grow. And it's really hard to kind of step away from that and discover what you like. Because, um, you know, when you see things that are trendy or things that um, get popular, like, it's easy to kind of fall into the trap to try to um, do that for yourself. So, like... Um, I've never, when, and whenever I do a piece that I really like personally, it never like um, gets as much um, like traction online. So then that's like discouraging, right? And I know it shouldn't be, I know, um, you know, you should do whatever you want to do, but it's, it's hard when like um, a lot of your, you know, it, it's hard and you can't tell me it's not hard because it is. Um, so. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I have to say about that. So um, now I'm drawing these tigers and I wanted their stripes to be different colors and all of, and I wanted them to like be like each other's opposites. So um, one's more blue with pink stripes, the other one's more pink with blue stripes. And then for the big tiger in the background, I also tried to incorporate a little bit of their colors in it um, while, while still adding um, little different color and so um, when I put these to CMYK the printing the printing modes um, the 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 reds and the yellows they look great it's just that the purples and the blues are a little bit more dull and when they're more dull like um, like for her cheeks for example like they're not much of a, of a darker um, contrast they're just a different kind of hue so when you put it in black and white the cheeks color and the rest of her skin color are actually very similar so at the very end of so at the very end of this painting i go and i do a little bit of adjustments about her skin tone and some you know i change some curves and some levels to really add some contrast so when it prints that it won't lose that those beautiful colors and the contrast um now I'm working on the background. I wasn't really sure, like, I knew I wanted some leaves in the background, but then um, I liked, I, I, you know, I put some circles out there and I liked the, the um, similarities and the, the repetition of the branches and the, um, the stripes on the tigers. Um, and adding a, just a couple of tropical leaves and stuff like that, I'm trying to keep it simple-ish. I end up fading the, uh, the, the trees in the background a bit. I feel like it it takes away from the tigers and I even toggle them on and off because I'm not sure if if they're too busy and if it would look better without it. In the end I, I added I decided to keep it on. Um, but maybe I should have removed it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. See now I'm trying to <laughs> black and white trying to make sure that the contrast of everything is fine and that it looks it looks good. You know what? That top you see that top tree? I feel like I could have made it either taller than the tiger or I should have made it smaller because it's right now kind of at the same level and the kind of the same shape and that's a no-no design oh well um so now I'm about finishing up and just like sizing and doing final color things and that's about it and you can get this print on my patreon for the entire month of February um by joining my print tier or my critique tier and my critique tier is a tier that I give portfolio reviews and I critique um, pieces of art that people send me in. So thank you for listening and I'll see you next time. Bye.